and the password as well. By default, the username and password either admin and the password is admin or the username is admin and the password is password. We can uh, change this later on. You can take this information uh, from the document came with the uh, with the router itself. So we write the password here and we press enter. Now we have access to that router. So uh, we need now to configure the wireless. So we go to home network. This is the uh, uh, journal information. We click on advanced settings and we go to the wireless network. Configure the local speed stream gateway wireless network. We click on this option. The other options is regarding other services like um, we edit the information from the uh, service provider, we edit the, uh, the cable, the IP network, uh, and other stuff. But in our case, we need to uh, configure the wireless network. We click on it, and here it, it will guide us to the uh, general status and information for our wireless uh, configuration. And the first time we have to go to the begin the wireless wizard. Maybe in your interface, in your router, it has a different interface, but you have to take the general information because it's basically the same. So we click on Begin Wireless Wizard. Here we have to enable the wireless interface. And the SSID, we have to write our name here, it consists of 32, um, 32 uh, character. Uh, consists of numbers and letters. Uh, uh, this SSID represents the name when someone uh, detects your wireless signal your name will be written on that uh, particular wireless signal. In case if you don't want this to be shown you can just delete this name and once they detect your wireless signal you will see that um, uh, your name will not be shown there okay so we click on next here we arrive to this stage where the uh, wireless security configuration as I told you uh, before that we have to configure this uh, we have different type of different type of uh, uh, security mode so the best one is to choose the W BA okay and we click on next here's the most important part in addition to the security mode you have to write down here like a, a key like a name or number that uh, whenever someone detects your signal when they want to access to your internet the, the uh, they will be asked to enter the same key that you're entering right now so it's better to enter a serial key or uh, so it's better to enter uh, a shared key it consists of characters or uh, numbers in order to uh, to secure your wireless network in my case for example I'm gonna write Firas normally normally uh, it's better not to write something that uh, uh, can be recognized by others like uh, your age, your name, your mobile number. So you can write here anything like um, when I want to connect the wireless my wireless network, it will ask me to enter the same key there it's uh, it's uh, important to enter this key to secure your wireless so we click on next and here this is for more security uh, you can enter the mac address for a specific device or specific devices that you want them to use your internet. In this case, it's impossible for other users from your neighbors uh, to use your internet because uh, you have to enter their MAC address in order to let them access to your wireless. And what about MAC address? It represents the serial key comes with any wireless device 
over the world and it's unique it cannot be duplicated so for example if you want to use this feature you have to click on enable and enter the uh, MAC address of the devices you want them to access for example and how to discover what's the uh, MAC address it's so simple you go to this monitors here and double click on it you will have this interface local connection status click on support and then on details you will see the physical address which represents the MAC address of the uh, Ethernet card uh, represented by this value you just copy this by writing it to the MAC address but of course uh, what I'm showing you right now it represents the wired the Ethernet connection the, the, the LAN uh, adapter uh, what we need to you need to enter the wireless adapter which uh, should be taken from the wireless connection it's the same concept and you enter it here and we click on next either the MAC address is here you want to deny or allow you have both options so we click on next this is the type you can see here's the, here's the type of your wireless uh, router it supports G and B as I mentioned before in my website that the wireless A2 802.11 it's the standards of the uh, one of the standards of the IEEE organization the G is the most popular one and most of the devices supporting this one okay so we click on next to proceed and we click finish to save our current status you can see here this is our general um, information so after that we have to reboot our modem in order to save those settings so click on reboot now we open our laptop for example as a wireless device and we go to the wireless adapter which you can see here like a cross mark over the icon we click on it and we connect to a network we will find here several wireless network in my area the first one is my ne my network firas network i click on it and then i click connect then you can see um, it will ask me to enter the shared key the security key i've just entered in my uh, steps before and I click on connect it will detect the wireless network and it will connect successfully and you can see those buttons I have to take those boxes in order to save those settings next time I don't have to repeat it again it will automatically connect to the internet you can see here it's connected to Ferras network and to prove this we can open the Internet Explorer and type here any address for example my website dealingwithwindows.com and I press enter you can see my website has hope opened and it's working so this is how to um, install the wireless network using uh, a router modem. Thank you.